physical alignment, all those things. Um, I did talk about the complication that occurred, though. I said how. Like, so what's happening here in this <laughs> part of the episode is that Jazz is keeping it real with mom. Like I told people what really happened. You know, like I told them that there was a complication. And Jeanette hates when Jazz tells the truth about this whole situation. Basically everything unraveled and that it was too tight. So the stitches came apart and then I had to go back no. in for another OR appointment. I told you not to do that. I told you not to do that. Because if you do that, then people are going to know the truth and then they're going to they're going to have a warning and then they're going to be confused and they might not make the decision. Why would you tell them that? You might stop them from this. But that's horrible. Mm. <laughs> We don't want to scare people. I know. What I say? What did I say? We don't want to scare people. <laughs> we don't want to. Too much truth is hate. It's scary. <laughs> Absolutely extraordinary. I'm telling you, this woman is a problem in society. <laughs> okay. Let me not take it too far, but like, come on. What do you mean? What are you saying right now? I told you not to do that. You're telling the truth? You know? that You're going to scare people? Wow. Wow. Well, it was just in the moment, I like, I don't think it's too big of a deal. And I mean, I don't think it's going to scare people. It's the reality and all no, that. No, it's going to scare. It's going to definitely, there are parents that are watching that and being like, oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm How are you apologizing for telling the truth? You did the right thing. And this woman is saying that, no, it's going to scare them because they're going to hear the reality and be like, do you, I wonder if they hear themselves. Do you hear yourself? Oh, they're going to hear the reality and they're going to stop. Good job, Jazz. You done got somebody to stop. You done got somebody to think twice. Ugh, look at you. You're just not good for this movement. I mean, because what is going on? Gonna it's get hard when you're going to emails from people. Oh, my goodness. Is this going to happen to my child? You know me. I've shouldn't they ask that question about their child? I'm sorry. I know I keep stopping this, but like, shouldn't they ask that question about their child? I'm just saying. Shouldn't they be concerned? Hmm. Loose lips. I experienced something major and I can't just say, oh, it went great. Everything was perfect because that's just not true. My whole message is about being your authentic self, speaking your truth and living your life as who you are. I know, I know you care. And can we even talk about the posture here? There's one leg is here and the one is <laughs> just too much, bro. It really is. But anyway, but in this moment, jazz has more sense than the mom. Okay. And, and I'm sure in many moments. <laughs> wow. Cares so much about what these other parents to get think. hurt. No, it's not what they think of me. I don't want them to get hurt or the kids to get hurt and they will come to me. Jazz sometimes thinks impulsively without thinking about the repercussions. She is strong-willed and sometimes just does what she wants to do. And then this, oh, I forgot he was even there. Look at him, just there. I know what he's thinking. He's thinking, actually, she was kind of good for telling them what happened. You know, at least she told them the truth. I mean, I don't know if I can really be mad about that, but I dare not say anything. I dare not say anything because the one last testicle that I had, they'll take that off too. And then, yeah, I am talking about the dad. By the way, guys, if you like the videos, <laughs> please don't forget to hit the like button. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Oh, there you guys are. You guys started shopping? Oh, yeah. yeah we... Waste of space. It looks like a waste of space. They could have so much more stuff on So, Jazz now is, remember, there was this little boyfriend in the family or whatever, and Jazz has taken this boyfriend to New York with them uh, so they could go over the other surgery that Jazz would need to, needed to have. I think this was going to be surgery number three or four, if I'm not mistaken. And so he got to hear all the lovely details. I feel like New York is stuck in like the early 2000s. It smells weird. There's like dirty pigeons everywhere. 
it's just not cute. It's not you're like you're such a weirdo. <laughs> and what really is he's saying is I feel like I don't feel like being here, but I'm here because I'm trying to get that paper. And I got to pretend like I care. You know, I got to pretend like, oh, New York is great, but I really don't feel like being here. And then now I'm making this so-called girl upset because I don't like her no more. I never did, really. <laughs> I'm actually a little annoyed with how negative Amir is being. I don't know what's going through his head. Um, I want to know how things are going with your mom. Me and my mom, this is really at a standstill right now. I mean, clearly, she knew I was coming to New York. So she knows you're coming here with me? Yes, she knew I was coming to New York. Do you think she would be down? Okay, so uh, Jazz does not know <laughs> man talk or I don't <laughs> like definitely black man talk. She knows I was coming to New York. So she knew you were coming to New York with me. Yes, yeah, she knew I was coming to New York. <laughs> the what? Wait, 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 wait. With me. <laughs> okay. For meeting me because I want to meet her. I don't I mean, I don't know my mom. If Jazz wants to meet my mom, I could ask her. That's the least I could do, but it can only make things worse. If Jazz is willing to take that risk, then I just hope she has a place for me to live when I get kicked out. I mean, it, it, that's all this. Just all too much. It really just was. It just was all too much. Have sex. I have to ask this question to my dog. We're just going to wait a long time, and down the road, once everything is healed and all the scars have softened, we can do something more aesthetic mm -hmm. to create the lips, labia, create like a, a hood. It's just disgusting to me. I'm sorry. It just is. It just is. Okay? It just is. This guy, every time he talks, he freaks me out. I'm sorry. For the clitoris. Mm -hmm. So what am I cleared to do now? Can I swim or not yet? You can swim. I can swim. You can ride a bike. You can run. You can walk, you can do anything. Exercise. Anything? Anything. What about sexual activity? What? Not yet. Wait a little longer. Never. Well, are you asking me as like a, as a physician? Yes. Like medically? Yes, medically. Uh-uh. No way. I'm sorry. It's not that she's too young, but like her vagina is too young. Her vagina is not ready in my mind to have sex. It's just disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm going off now. Like what? Like oh my God, it just is. It's just because I'm over here. Like, well, <laughs> why not? They let they let this child do whatever they want, right? And it's not like the person can get pregnant anyway. So, but and then the mom is like, the vaginas to you. Oh my God, yo! Like it, <laughs> it's just nasty. I'm sorry. Is this this obsession with the crotch? I have to ask this question to my doctor. We are talking about genitalia here, and we all know what genitalia is used yeah, for. Yeah, but not yep. yours, okay? Yours doesn't work like that, and I'm just keeping it real. I, from what I've heard, it is a very painful experience. <sighs> Ting said that everything looks great. He said the revision surgery, he envisions that it's going to happen, like, in a year or something. So, yeah, everything's great. I'm glad that my body's doing its thing. So he's the one who did the surgery? Yeah. He did it with also Dr. Bowers. There was two doctors because they were doing a special procedure for me where they took my stomach lining <laughs> to create the vagina. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> Maybe Jazz does have loose lips because, I mean, at this point, it's like, <laughs> What? <laughs> and mind you, this guy is, we already know, I'm pretty sure has experience, right? And so now he's in about stomach line <laughs> in his videos. And all he's thinking is like, well, the last chick I was with, the last couple chicks I was with, they, you know, they had those stomach lining. What the hell is that going to feel like? Ew. He didn't know. I didn't know. You didn't know this? Oh. Why would he know? This is not normal conversation. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's, 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 that's cute. It's like <laughs> the outer membrane lining of my stomach. Oh. It's the same, it's basically <laughs> the same stuff as vagina material. Okay, so now what we have going on here, like let's just keep it real, okay? We got two things. 
the mom is there talking like, you know, in the middle of this conversation, because I feel like this is a private conversation where mom doesn't need to be there because what Jazz is doing is trying to auction off <laughs> this created um, cavity and saying that like, no, it'll work just fine. Like that's, that's really what Jazz is saying. Mom is in the middle of this conversation. So the whole thing is awkward. Now, it's not the same thing. It's not basically the same thing. It is nowhere near the same thing, okay? Stop gaslighting people. It is not the same thing, okay? Yeah. I don't know what to say. I'm creeped out. I think it was a perfect reaction. They were doing a special procedure for me where they took my stomach lining to create the vagina. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm creeped yeah. out. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I never really expected to be having this conversation with a girl before. Especially with mom right there in the middle and a bunch of cameras. So much of these two are looking straight into the camera. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay. But. Do you mind? This is crazy. Yo, y'all, the mom is there trying to auction off the cooch too. <laughs> Yo, this is bananas. <laughs> like, what? It's pretty weird. I'm surprised by Mira's reaction to the details of my gender confirmation surgery. We met up right after I got home from New York and we talked every single day. So I feel like I have told him in detail, in depth, the entire process many times before. So the fact that he is shocked and disgusted and weirded out by all of the things that I'm telling him, I don't know, it kind of confused me. Sort of okay, so, all right. So what happened was that Amir signed up for the show, told his boys, I'm just going to sign up for the show. I'm not gay, right? Even though there's an episode where they kiss, whatever. So <laughs> now he's with Jazz. And they talk. And I'm sure Jazz probably really did tell Amir everything but over the phone. But the thing is, Amir was probably smoking a blunt at the time. <laughs> I was not paying attention and did not know what they were getting themselves into, both of these people. Okay, so now Amir is looking like, wait, 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 wait. Run that back because I was somewhere else when you said this. And you heard what Amir just said. I've never had this conversation with a girl. Yeah, Amir, because girls don't need to have conversations like that because our stomach lining is not that the cavity 